What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. And today, we come together to do another It Was Never Close in the Never Close series. Now, this is a battle. I believe it was on Death Battle. It's been on forums for ages. They constantly update these Death Battle templates with both of them when they get new forms. And I'm here to tell you that this matchup's an absolute stomp. Always has been a stomp. And we're going to get into why. But before we do so smash the like button 200 plus likes will help the channel a lot and shows how much you support this uh series as well as if we uh get to 30k i have a very special project i am dropping at 30k so let's try to get there as fast as possible thank you guys for all the love and support and check out my discord we do games prizes giveaways dnds and more we're doing a star wars game tonight so definitely come check it out but getting into this Let's talk about Thor versus Vegeta. First of all, I hate that I have to do Vegeta like this. I'm actually a Vegeta fan. The only time I don't like Vegeta is when I see him going up against a main character or villain. Because I know the writer's going to do him fucking dirty. And I hate that for him because it's predictable every time. But regardless, Vegeta's an asshole. And I love his character. But unfortunately for him, that shitty hairline's getting knocked even further back by Thor. And let me explain why. You see... The best we can do for Vegeta. And, you know, I get a lot of shit for this because people say I, I kind of highball or wank Dragon Ball. But I think it's fair to at least scale Vegeta to a measurable. He's fought beings um, that can move through time. He's fought beings that can freeze time. Uh, he's fought out in areas void of time. Given these examples of higher speed scaling, I think it's safe to give Vegeta a measurable. But that's like his mid to high end, right? We look at mid to high end for Thor, it's not even close. First of all, a measurable would probably be the low end for Thor, given he's literally since his inception came from a land beyond time and space and regular dimensions on top of this. He can travel across many layers of infinities, travel beyond time, travel beyond space, travel through the void of nothingness. There are plenty of examples of Thor having significantly superior speed scaling even if we you know give some favorable speed scaling to vegeta if we're um, a lot more loose with his interpretation on the scaling in the verse for that speed so i think when you get the mid to high end for both in speed absolute wash thor just casually takes it like vegeta brings nothing to the table in the speed department thor hasn't bitch slapped you know what i mean now getting to the attack potency side of things which you know it's a big deal in a versus battle. Looking at AP, Vegeta, you know, being real nice with the scaling, I think it's fair to easily get him to multiversal, the multiversal plus, especially in current um, editions of Vegeta. The reason I say so is that Vegeta scales to characters that can threaten the uh, macrocosm. This includes uh, verses or slash dimensions that are above 3d and 4d so you can get to like 5d plus scaling within the cosmology there's realms without time and space there have been arguments before for like infinite timelines and whatnot you can easily argue a multiversal to multiversal plus structure within dragon ball right this doesn't mean much to thor because if we're going mid to high end for thor He's currently battling the Utgard, beings beyond time, space, dimension, logic. They're beyond Yggdrasil of the world tree entirely. They're beyond even the non-realms. He fought uh, the Chaos King before, even damaged it. He's damaged Null with his divine lightning. Um, he has <laughs> this, uh, he's literally fought beings that scale to eternity and multi-eternity. Scales to and above his father. Cur in current times, Thor is currently the king. Um, so, like, base Thor right now scales to his all power, which scales above the Odin force, which is why he can fight someone like the Utgard. So, current, especially in base for current Thor, Jesus Christ, he is fondling Vegeta casually. And I think something, another aspect of this battle that people don't consider as much, which I think they should, is the hacks, you know? When you look at Vegeta, he has decent hacks. We know in Dragon Ball, if you scale two or above someone, you can pretty much resist things they do to you, even matter manipulation. Literally, he got turned into candy 
um, and characters could like still fight through it and bounce around. Now, uh, you could also argue, let's give them Hakai, stuff like that. Soul Erasure, um, all that, Matter Erasure. Energy Attacks, Energy Manipulation. You have all these abilities for Vegeta. Thor's been doing that shit for decades. Thor's been doing that shit since before Vegeta was even a concept. Like, he has temporal storms he can summon. He one-shot a storm and can one-shot summon a storm bigger than Asgard itself that can cover entire realms. Um, he has the God Blast if things really get sticky that even Galactus tries to avoid. He can BFR. He can seal you away, attack you astrally. Uh, his telepathic defenses are insanely good as well. He has matter manipulation, reality warping, and um, plenty more cosmic hacks through Mjolnir. Thor just has so many powers that are actually superior to even Vegeta's. So when we're looking at this in terms of combatants, across the board, Thor has always been superior to Vegeta. Even when we use like video games, that would be high end. And if you use high end for Thor, it's still a stomp. So while I love both characters, Vegeta's always fun to throw in there for a scrap. He's getting his shit rocked by Thor. And the sad part is, despite all the forums, despite all the times this battle comes up, unless you're doing like a, a narrative battle and you try to argue they're relative narratively, which I could argue they're not easily, like easily, it's not even close. Um, it's pretty much a stomp, you know? There's not much hope for Vegeta. I'm sorry, Vegeta fans. Thor would beat the shit out of him. And not only is it not close now, but it was never really even close. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the matchup in the comment section down below. I enjoy doing the Never Really Close series. Let me know in the comments what battle you want to see next. What matchup have you seen on forums? What have you seen on live? What have you seen in comment sections that you're like, that's not a good battle. People recommend it, but that's not even close. Let me know in the comment section down below. Looking forward to making more of these. But anyways, it's been your boy Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.